Okay then. Oops, I didn't judge that right. Video number three. But I'm afraid that um, I've actually f finished the cage. Um, I don't know if you should be able to see in the high def. It's a bit difficult seeing it on my screen. I don't have a 1080p screen on the back of a camera. I don't think they make a 1080p screen on the back of a camera. This is the, uh, well, I'm not going to say finished because I'll always spot something and I can see two things in there already that I can do. Um, well, there are a few things actually, but um, it's close to finished as it can be. I, I didn't film that unfortunately because um, well, quite simply my, my camera battery ran out when I had all fresh moss and logs here and I didn't really want to leave the moss to dry out while the camera battery was charging. I do actually have a spare battery but God knows what it is. But there's now no gap and on the top there and you can you might be able to make out it's rather mossy across the top and that's because there's a log tied to a central support on the tank it's cable tied together and at the back it tends to move a little bit so I've got to make some fine tuning to that um, to make sure it doesn't move but if I take the lid off it tends to move forward fractionally not that there'll be anything up there unless I put tree frogs in there I'm sure about. Um, I've moved the little rabbit tracks prayer plant. Well, I've actually turned it, um, and I've, I've turned the fern. I've added some more lichen and moss-covered bits of wood, um, and another piece of ivy, which is strapped to the mossy log at the back. Now it's going to take a while for all the leaves to right themselves and point towards the light. Provided I don't forget the water that ivy and it dies. There's three types of algae in now. Um, I've also corrected a slight problem I had with my little pond. Um, let me see, I've added some little bits of uh, lichen wood, the moss, mossy log at the back, uh, another bit of ivy. As well as that, I've also bought some plants. Now, I'll, I'll zoom in on those momentarily and I've, I've added two lots of plants and there's three plants in total I still want to get a button fern so I've got to keep an eye out for that but I might not get that until the spring now um, and I may see other things I, 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 I suffer with a condition called fibromyalgia and one of the things it tends to do is it um, causes short term memory issues blanks sometimes if anyone's ever tried to picture what writer's block is like it's kind of like that and it happens several times a day makes shopping a complete nightmare especially when some of the other symptoms is physical pain in different areas but I can I can although I, I can see the cork tiles showing on the back I'm not sure I'm really happy about that I think that needs to be broken up a little bit more. Um, so I might try to put some epiphytes of some kind in there. I'm going to have to find some. I have got a few epiphytes. But I think that, that back won't stay wet enough. I've got some. Um, if you're familiar with uh, primulas, I mean, there is an English one they call the cowslip, primula veris. Um, there are actually um, epiphytic, which means they grow attached to wood. There are epiphytic primulas in, that come from South Africa called Streptocarpus. I do have, uh, it should be eight, I seem to be missing two. I do have a pilfering penguin. It might have something to do with that, but uh, I don't know. Or I've just mislaid two of them that are in the same pot that I've got six seedling streptocarpus upstairs but I don't I don't think I don't think it'll be wet enough long enough for the streptocarpus to sort of go on the back. So 
so I'll have to think of something else. Um, now what I've done is I've, I've bought two alpine plants and something which is known as a sort of marginal aquatic, semi-aquatic plant um, known as baby tears, hemianthus, hemianthus I think it is. Uh, and I've bought um, a, th a thymus which is over there uh, just where you see the arch of cork when you get to the far end of the arch where it meets the soil it's just growing there and in the front here is uh, mentha which did look a lot like baby tears now they were end of season and looking pretty sorry for themselves I wasn't sure whether to buy them or not because the mentha looked like it was sort of dying in the middle and it was completely flat. And when I say completely flat, I mean completely flat when I bought it. But, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in momentarily as I said. But it seems to have shot up around the edges, uh, over an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half maybe. Which wasn't what I expected it to do actually, I thought it would stay flat. But, nevertheless, you know, it's growing and um, once it sort of spreads out a bit, left and right and that should be quite interesting now just to the far top right corner just beyond the little log lichen covered log there's a little patch which looks like mentha but that's not that's hemianthus or baby tears <clears throat> and I've got a patch there and a patch over on the corner of the bog area so that that's in there with a couple of the larger sort of mosses and um, we'll see how that goes and hopefully that will spread. I, I bought two. I only split up one and put it in there. The other one's actually my aquarium. I'm, I'm working on that at the moment. And um, I want to switch the lighting over. I've got a couple of uh, sword plants in there. And a, a red tiger lily, lotus nymphaea. Um, to go with lots of java moss, java fern that grows in there and the anubias. And uh, I'll have to do a bit of film with that. To at some stage when I get it sorted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sort of zoom in on the plants and see if I can get this right. Now over here, hopefully we won't lose focus. There is a thymus or thymus. Not sure how it's pronounced actually. I normally get my Latin right, but sometimes I'm a bit unsure. And that was about just over a pound to buy those. If I sort of pan over past the fern to the front of the tank, there is the mentha. And beyond that, oops, it's not going to focus. But just beyond that, sort of. Uh, if I get my finger, just there, there's a little patch there, that's the baby tears. Now, you can't really see the other patch, and there's a few other plants in there. I might put some Lysomachia in now. I'm not too sure. Well, that didn't really work out as smooth as I planned. But there's the other patch of baby tears, and that's sort of in the corner of a, a plastic tray. And that's, that's the mentha, as I said. And the other one, although it looks the same, it's not. It's uh, hemianthus, I think. Latin on those are. You can sort of see the plastic tray, the pond area. That's inside another tray, if you watch my other videos. A bigger tray, which makes the boggy area. And hopefully, the plants will just sort of overgrow it in time. I've got to put... I might put some mosses, aquatic mosses, Christmas moss, as sometimes called, fascicularia, or maybe some of my um, my Dubyana upstairs. I, I do tend to produce quite a bit of it. I might put that in there because that can grow out of the water as well, and hopefully it will just cover the plastic in time. But we'll um, I'll get to that at a later stage. It did kind of oh, it did kind of kill me setting up this tank. It sort of um, knocked me out for a few days. And um, I sort of banned myself from working on it. 
that, that, that's the cage. The lights are on, so um, I'm afraid you won't see any salamanders or newts. Um, and they simply won't. Well, sometimes you'll get the odd marbled newt come out. But the fire salamanders never come out. This light goes off first. And then over to the left there, I've got what I call my orchid table. And those lights go off second. So the plan was that this would be dimly lit before it went dark completely. And I did think that maybe the salamanders would come out because it's quite dimly lit. But they never do. Um, maybe once they're settled in they might, but they never do until it's completely dark. So there you go. Um, I'll do another video if I make some substantial changes to it and it looks noticeably different. Um, I, I do like to keep things natural and I've got the prayer plant in there but me knowing where things are from I look at that and think you know that's a tropical plant and yes it like you know my friend likes it and it kind of looks good but it doesn't really go with everything else in there so I don't know I might buy a bigger fern and put a fern in its place but unless I see something I think will look really good the uh, the, the rabbit tracks pear plant will uh, stay there for the time being now as I'm here I'm maybe I'll you can see the uh, the top can't actually but if I oh, I did think I might be able to get a bit lower on this but um, it's hard to see the log because it's sort of covered half covered in ivy but if I was to sort of zoom in on that section now oops, just noticed that the oops camera's a little skew -ish. apologies you can just see the end of the log there and it runs along the back right up to the edge on the other side I had to take a saw to it because I've got one slightly oversized knowing I'd have to cut it I'd rather have something that fitted exactly than sort of get back and find one was too short and it didn't look right and it didn't cover up the bare glass parts of the back I didn't like being exposed so there you go a uh, sort of 95% finished terrarium and um, probably give me a month it probably will look substantially different provided I come across the right items so that's a sort of terrarium you'd do for some toads, not all toads um, you can put nat jacks or green toads in something like that it's, they prefer sandy areas but anything sort of foresty dwelling most salamanders they would like something like that hmm some American salamanders probably go well in there I don't see them as often as you used to I don't get about as much as I used to. But um yeah, fin sort of finished terrarium setup. Hope it was informative and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.